Michigan wins. What a satisfying victory that was. Michigan beats Ohio State 30 to 24. And I'm not going to take full credit for it, but you as an audience, you should in some way. This is the campaign slogan that changed the history of college football. I mean, look, we put it up in January of 2020. Michigan's had four straight seasons of not losing to Ohio State. Beat Ohio State again. I'm so pumped up. I am so pumped up they got that win. Without Jim Harbaugh, Shiro Moore, in your face, Ryan Day. Comment Bosa beat Ohio State again. Ugh. Woo! I love it. I'm just I'm so pumped up. And they got this win over those bums from Ohio State. Talk so much shit. Talk so much smack. This is one of the most sad, the most satisfying victory in the history of Michigan football. And definitely as me as a Michigan football fan. Let's take a look at everything I was thinking. Kind of my stream of conscious thoughts, but my five biggest instant reactions. If you want to recap this game, we went live on Saturday right after the game. We're going to put this out on Saturday night. But here are my five biggest instant reactions following Michigan's 30-24 to win over Ohio State. Number one, feels so good to beat Ohio State again. 2021, 2022, 2023. 30 to 24, Michigan gets the win over the Buckeyes. No one really had a wild game. It wasn't like Hassan Haskins' five touchdowns. It wasn't Diamond Edwards, 220 plus yards, 75 yards, 85 yards. The stats were fairly rudimentary, right? But they won in the ways we told you they had to win the game. They had to let Marvin Harrison cook on, you know, when they're on defense, let Marvin Harrison cook. Let him get his. It's almost like Michael Jordan back in the 90s. You know Jordan's getting his 30, no matter if you game plan for him or not. Let Jordan cook. Don't let him crush you, right? Don't let Marvin Harrison go over the top for a 60, 70 yard touchdown passes. His only touchdown was kind of a drag right over the middle, caught some linebackers in zone coverage. Michigan wins 30 to 24. It feels, feels so good to be Ohio State. That's like uh, that song. Feels so close to you right now. It's a force field. Most stat leaders for Michigan here, as I said, Blake Corum, 22 for 88. Two touchdowns. Diamond Edwards, 31 yards on the ground, but also had a major monumental pass in the third quarter. 34 yards to Colson Loveland, who had himself five catches, 88 yards. Roman Wilson, three for 36. Cordelius Johnson, four for 33. A.J. Barner, two catches for 25. And Diamond Edwards himself, two catches for five yards. If you guys want to keep this train rolling, support the show, get videos on this Michigan football program every single day, hit that subscribe button. Beat Ohio State again. The campaign slogan that will it'll be the one, the campaign slogan that all future campaign slogans, politics or sports, are judged by. Beat Ohio State again. Bosa, hit that subscribe button. Send that link to your friends. YouTube.com slash Michigan TV. Sharon Moore, my man. What a guy. If it was an audition for being Michigan's head coach, he knocked that bad boy out of the park. There was never a point in this game. There was never a single point in this game that I felt Sharon Moore was an interim coach. That I felt Sharon Moore was not up to the task. There's maybe one or two play calls that, that third down and five to Samaj Morgan. That I said, okay, I don't agree with that. But doesn't that happen every single game? What I noticed on this chart right here, Michigan won the rushing attack. At 22 years in a row in this game, the team with the most rushing yards wins the game. Ohio State got the way by 40 more yards than Michigan, but Michigan, no turnovers. Ohio State, two turnovers. Will Johnson interception early. Rod Moore interception on the last Ohio State play of the game. Sharon Moore, you came through with flying colors. You executed to the absolute best you could. You knew what plays to call at what situations on fourth down. You passed the ball to Colson Loveland, Court Cornelius Johnson, etc. Excellent game. A plus from Sharon Moore. Michigan beats Ohio State again, 30 to 24. And I want to tell you guys about our sponsor, and that is Prize Picks. I love Prize Picks, the best daily fantasy sports in the game. It's just you versus the numbers of Prize Picks, right? You can mix and match sports. You can put in picks from the NFL, college football, the NBA, Major League Baseball, et cetera, et cetera. That's how awesome it is with Prize Picks. They've also got a reboot policy. So if a player you pick in your Prize Picks gets injured in the first half, doesn't come back in the second half, that's okay. Taken out of the pick, Prize Picks. Your entry keeps on rolling. And they've got flex play. Prize picks is amazing. I've been making picks all season long. Monday Night Football, Thursday Night Football, Sunday NFL games, 
Monday, uh, Saturday college football games, of course. I can keep doing it as the NBA season gets into its peak. This week at Prize Picks, I'm doing a twofer. Aiden O'Connell, right? The last two guys Michigan played last year in the Big Ten. Aiden O'Connell, the Big Ten championship game. I'm going less for the Raiders. 212 passing yards, 212 and a half. I'm going more for Colbert Stroud because he gets cheap yards like um, Kyle McCord did say. I'm going more than 273 and a half yards for him. That's all you got to do. You pick more. You pick less with prize picks. It's super easy. It takes less than 60 seconds to jump on. I'm playing it four or five times a, a week. It's like taking me 60 seconds each. I might spend 10 minutes on the app in total. I can win real money, and you get this amazing bonus. It's really simple to play, and you can get a $100 deposit match when you go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use that code CLNS. That's CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. That's right. They'll match you up to $100. You put in $100. Price picks gives you another one hundred dollars. You have a total of two hundred in your account. My favorite way to play daily fantasy sports. Easy and exciting. Pricepicks.com slash CLNS. Link is in the comments, the chat, and the uh, description of today's Michigan football report. The drive that will launch a thousand ships, or whatever that term is. What's that thing from uh, ancient Greece? It was like the face that it was like uh, what's the Athena or whatever. It's like the face that will launch a thousand ships. The the drive. That will win a thousand and one games right here. I can't talk about this drive more of the impact of it in the history of the pantheon of Michigan football. I'm gonna talk about this drive for the rest of my life. Michigan gets the ball with about eight minutes and five seconds left. Thirteen plays. See, it's it's, it's like something. The face, face that launched Jackson is the face that launched a thousand ships. Who was that? Like Cleopatra, right? I think it was Cleopatra. Hell of Troy, there you go. Uh, Sharon of Michigan, 13 plays, 56 yards. Ashley Lawson, I see you. We're going to get to your super chat in just a minute. Appreciate that. 13 plays, 56 yards, seven minutes of clock time. They didn't get the touchdown, but Michigan got themselves a field goal to go up by six. Seven plays, I'm sorry, seven minutes, 56 yards, 13 plays. That equals a win for this Michigan football team. Blake Corum into the Michigan football record books. 22 rushing touchdowns this season. Came into it tied with his, his teammate from two years ago, Hassan Haskins, with 20 touchdowns in one season. Now Blake Corm is at 20, 20, 20, or 22 touchdowns rushing. He'll have a chance to beat the A-train. I think he's two touchdowns back of the all-time modern-day Michigan football touchdown record. What a day for Michigan, but what a drive for this team and what guts it showed to Shroom Moore to keep going to the run, to the run, to the run. And only when he needed it, I think it was two passes on that play, to go to the pass, but 13 plays, 56 yards. And before I uh, continue on there, Jack, I'll go back to my notes here for a second, is Michigan had two drives all game because in the first half as well, okay, they had a drive. It was a touchdown to Robin Wilson where J.J. McCarthy just lasered in there. 10 minutes and 22 seconds. So the second quarter, 10 minutes and 22 seconds. The fourth quarter, 7 minutes. Those two drives are what championship teams are made of. Michigan beats Ohio State 30-24. to 24. Let's keep it rolling here. Three in a row. What more can you say? What more can I say? Da, 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 da. It's Jay-Z song. You know that? Three in a row. I mean, look, Ryan Day, you're cooked, buddy, because you might not get fired. You might be the next coach of Texas A&M. I don't care, but you are the guy. You're the John Cooper of the next generation. Beat Ohio State again. It's just so, it feels so good to beat Ryan Day. Da, 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 da. Make sure you guys are liking today's video. Um, we're live after the show, so we're going to put this video out here later on on Saturday night. So this is our instant reaction to Michigan beating Ohio State. Let's talk some more stats here really quick. So J.J. McCarthy, 16 of 20, 148. Uh, Colson Loveland led the team five carry, five catches, 88 yards, and Blake Corum, 22 catches, 88 yards as well. Uh, on the defensive side, Rod Moore, Will Johnson, interception. But you talk about the moxie and the just the cohesiveness and the leadership of this team. You lose maybe your best player on offense in Zach Sinter in the third quarter. And going to the fourth quarter, you use probably your best player on defense in Will Johnson. You lose both those guys. It doesn't matter. Some of your best plays came right after you lost those players. It was amazing. It was absolutely, I mean, think it was inspiring. It was inspiring to me. Junior Colson, 11 tackles in the day. Rod Moore, five. Chris Jenkins, five. Uh, Josh Wallace, what a game for him. 
uh, four tackles for him as well. I think that Michigan's defensive play game plan, again, was superb. Jesse Minter deserves like a golden M, like an, a black M made of solid gold that's worth like $25 million. But I'll tell you guys what, it's Houston or bust for this Michigan football team. They beat Iowa this week. Even if they don't, I'm not sure if it may. I guess if they lose to Iowa, maybe they would have to be the number four seed. But I think Michigan's in the playoff no matter what. They're going to crush Iowa. They'll be in the playoff, I think, even if they don't. But they can go to Pasadena on January 1st, okay? 5 o'clock Eastern game. And they are going to play probably Florida State, Texas, maybe Alabama, an outside chance to Alabama, or Washington, Oregon. Those are the teams they're going to play. And Michigan's got to win that game. Is Houston or bust? Jackson is natty or bust? Let's get to Houston. Let's break through that next barrier. You broke through Ohio State 2021. Boom, boom, boom. Three straight against Ohio State. Three straight playoffs. Lost, lost. Breakthrough to the win. Then it's all hands on deck for the national championship. We did this. Beat Ohio State again. We did it again and 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 again. Keep commenting and Bosa for the rest of your life. Every time you watch this show, comment Bosa again and again and again. I just want to frame this. I'm going to put this in my house, Jake. I'm printing this out. I'm putting it on the wall somewhere in our office and probably even in my house. That's the Michigan Football Report Instant Reaction. We'll have more on-demand videos for you, probably two on Sunday, maybe one on Sunday. But this is a magical week. Live show on Tuesday for the College Football Playoff Top 25. Will Michigan be live? Will be number one? We'll see. And then next Sunday, we'll be live Sunday morning again for the final CFP rankings. Let you know who Michigan's playing likely in the Rose Bowl.